-hmm. Yeah, so this is my last bread. Why I say my last bread uh, is that although it's about George Floyd and the uh, brutality that happened to him, it happened to all of us because we all watched it on uh, <clears throat> on TVs and all the narration and anything happening to any other human being somewhere else is still about you and so this breath that comes out of him encircles the policeman I can't even remember his name I didn't want to paint his face and make him famous on my work. Neither did I want to paint uh, George Floyd's face. But the mask, really, which is white, is funerary. Oh, it's about death. And so the breath comes out of him. It, it has become solid now. It encircles. The, the policeman and it ends up in the White House. Why I put the White House is because of the issues of color. Where we talk, I hear people talking of white people, black people. I never seen any white person because this is white, this is not white. I don't want to name the color, but that's how I look at it. All this is really about the psychology of color, that white is cleaner and black is dirty. But this white and black thing is not only here. Because even in Kiswahili, when somebody is so brown, we say mweupe, which is white. Even in my own language, Kidavida, we say wachopo, which is white. So this issue about white and whatever, it's not even about the Caucasians who brought it. It's been there. Other people look at it that way. But maybe the context in which we look at it from Africa is totally different. While here now it has become racially and politically. And so the last breath which encircles the policeman, because I am sure right now he's regretting why he did that. And it is going straight into the White House, where the then president had a meeting. And why I use also the White House is that if there are issues of race, it's because also the politicians have allowed it to be from time immemorial. Yes, and yes. 